This video, we're going to talk about using KineMaster, the video editing app on your iPhone. Now, when you click on the app, you're going to get right to this home page. On the right, you're going to see a whole bunch of your content that you've created on the app, on this app, and also some of your projects that you're still working on. Now, on the left, you're going to see a big circle with a plus and almost looks like a video symbol. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to what aspect ratio you would like, depending upon what videos you've taken. I always go with the 16.9 on the upper left. It's the widest and biggest picture you can use. And that's going to take you to the main page. Now, on the main page, uh, in order to get the video started, you need to click on the media button. If you're going to look on the right, you're going to see a wheel, and the media button is going to be at the very top. Click on that. It's going to take me to all the videos I have currently in my iPhone and all of the photos as well. So I can either use a video to create from my background, or I can use a photo. Now, if I click on the photo, there, it has all my photos in my phone, and it also has some stock photos on the KineMaster app. I'm gonna use a stock photo. So I'm just gonna click on that. You can see it's gonna show up on the bottom part of the screen, and then I can click the check mark in the upper right-hand corner. Now, if I click on the booth, which is right next to the check mark, this is gonna take you to all of the, the downloadable content KineMaster has. Now, most of this is going to be used with premium. You can see the premium in some of the boxes. Um, premium cost about $30 whenever I purchased it, and that was in uh, early March of 2000, so it could be cheaper, it could be more expensive, just depends. Uh, but in 2020, in March, that's when I purchased it. I have to say it's worth it. There's so much content. I can't tell you how many times I've used it. Uh, or download a new text, you know, you can use text, different types, different types of music. They have their own music, sound effects, effects overall. I mean, they have so many things on here. I'm not going to go over that with you in this video. However, it's just something I wanted to mention to you. It's something we'll, we can talk about in a later video. Now I'm going to X out of that. And now I have my background, so I'm going to hit the check mark, upper right-hand corner. And now I'm going to go to what I have so far for my background. So if I click on the background at the bottom, you can see it's highlighted yellow. If I press on the right part of the yellow of the box, I slide it to the right. I can make the background longer or I can make it shorter, depending upon how long I wanted this to be my background in the video. Also, I can clip it. What clipping means is, or trimming, if you look on the right side of the box in the upper right-hand corner, you see some scissors. I click on that. And trimming is a couple things. I can trim it to the right, like this, or I can trim it to the left, like that, or I can split it. Splitting is just a simple way. If I click this split button, I can just split them. And for example, if I want to have like this for the beginning part, like the beginning part of my video, and then I want to transition it to something else, this is a good way of doing it. Now. Uh, that's just some simple tools for clipping or trimming your video. Now, the next thing I use a ton is layering. So if you see the layering button in, this, in the wheel is now able to use, I click on that and in the layering, I can layer and add videos, pictures, effects, text, stickers. I can even handwrite uh, something using just using my finger on the actual video. Uh, I'm going to add some text. Uh, and all I'm going to add is... Just a simple little text. Click the check mark in the upper hand corner, and now I have my text. I can enlarge it just by holding the bottom arrows on the right hand corner or just make it smaller. I can also just press and hold onto it and move it around wherever I want it on the screen. Um, now I can add a different type of font if I wanted to. I can add a different color if I wanted to. I can also add outline to it if I wanted to. Uh, a shadow, um, a glow. I mean, there's so many things I can do. A background, a solid background to go behind it. So, I mean, there's a ton of stuff I can add to this in order to make this uh, the way I want it. I can also add transitions. I mean, animation. What animation is, so if I click on the animation button right there, this is just what's going to, how is it going to pop up on the screen? Instead of just popping up, you can have different effects to be able to do it. Uh, or how do I want it to leave the screen? So for example, 
I can also have it how do I want it to leave the screen. So if I click the check mark, if I press play on the bottom right hand corner right underneath the wheel, press play, you can see it just fades in and fades out. So it's a little animation you can add to your video as well. Once again, if I click on the text, I can do the same thing. I can make it go longer on the video. I can make it go shorter. And as you can see on the right, there's the scissors again. If I clicked on that, I can trim it to the right, split it, or trim it to the left, just like I showed earlier. Now, the next thing I like to do is I would like to layer and we can add some type of media. So once again, you can access and use any of your videos, any of your photos, whatever you want. I'm going to add a video. Now, the videos I have on here, I'm just going to add a simple video, just something to show you, and then um, we'll talk about it. So let's add this. So obviously it's loading real quick because it's through the cloud system. Uh, but yeah, I can add anything. Same thing as I did with my text. I can move it around. I can shrink it on the screen. I can uh, make it bigger. Um, one other thing is if you have any videos that have um, sound, I can turn the sound off. So if this has audio on it, so for example, how I layered it, so I can shrink it, move it around. And you can look in the upper right hand corner. On the right, you'll see a uh, mixer with the volume. I can simply turn the volume down on this. For example, if there's some type of audio on this video and I don't want it to hear it, or I can turn it up because it's not loud enough, those are the things I can do as well. Um, but just like the text, I can move it around. I mean, just it's endless of what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, one other thing I can do is I can crop it. So for example, let's say I think this is a little bit too big of a picture or there, I don't want to use all of it. If you can see, there's a cropping button on the bottom left corner on the right. And now I can simply crop out what I want, what I don't want and keep in what I want and click the check mark. And now I just made it like that. So just an option you can have when you're using it as well. Um, now I can add some animation, same thing as I did with the text, fade it in on the right, fade it out, just like I did. Um, just some simple things right there that you can add that I've used so many times. Now check the box. I'm going to layer now. The next thing I want to layer is going to be, um, just a simple effect. So if I click on the sticker, I slide down, there's so many effects I can add to it. Uh, these are all, most of them I had to download once again, using the premium version, I'm going to add some fog. So if I click add some fog, click the check mark, if I press play, you'll see the fog come out. What I like using the fog for is, is a good transition. So for example, if I hold on the sticker, I can slide it where I want it. So if I'm transitioning from one part of the video to the other, just like that. Something simple. Now, if you look over here in the background, it goes to this. That's the end of the video. And the rest of this would be cut off. So instead of me having all this extra, what I could do is click on the background, slide it, and then click on the layer and clip it to the right. So it's nice and clean, just like that. Just some simple things you can add to it. Um, now the next thing I want to add, let's talk about some audio. So if I want to add audio to my video, I click on the right and I can access all of my songs that I have on my phone, but it's only for the Apple iTunes. Uh, you can't access, they don't put in the system where you can access if you have like Spotify, if you have, um, Amazon music, only your iTunes that you currently have, they've downloaded on your uh, phone are going to be able to you will be able to see or use. Uh, they do have content for these. This is the music that they have. Uh, I downloaded, same thing. If I clicked on the booth on the upper right hand corner, it'll take me to all their music. It's so much. I have to say, it's actually pretty good. So if you don't have any music on your phone or not enough or something that just isn't appro or appropriate for it, you can go on here and they have appropriate music. It's fine. Uh, it's actually pretty good. I've used it in a lot of my videos. Just something to think about. Once again, uh, most of the video, most of the music is uh, downloaded with the premium. So additional cost. If you pay that 30 bucks for the year, it is uh, you get everything. So it's, it's highly worth it if you're going to use this a lot. So I'm going to add a song. So if I just add a simple little song. 
you'll be able to preview it like that. And if I hit the plus, it puts it right into the video. Okay. And just like that, I can either uh, add, make it louder, make it lower. And the reason why I would make it lower is if I'm talking in the video and I want a little bit of background music, this is a good way to add a little bit of sound because it's kind of tough to hear or listen to uh, someone talk with nothing in the background. It gets kind of boring, what I've noticed. So adding a little bit of background music as I'm talking is kind of nice. Uh, and just like everything else, I can, if I click on it, you see the scissors, I can trim it the way I want it. Um, if I get to the end, same thing. End of the video, click on the box, trim it to the right, and now I cleaned it up so it's nice and tight around the rest of the video. Um, last thing, you can record your voice. So at the very bottom of the wheel, you'll see record. I click on record, and if I press start, I can start talking, and it's going to record everything I am saying. When I press stop, it recorded everything right there. So I can either uh, keep it. If I keep it, obviously I just press play. Bottom right hand corner. I can start talking, and it's going to record everything I am saying. So you would have that audio in there. Now, I, if I don't like anything on here, I can delete it. So if I click on that audio because I don't like it, I recorded. On the left side of the video, on the screen, you'll see a trash can more towards the middle. I can just delete it. Now, if I made a mistake and I want to bring that back because I messed up and I, I want to redo it, I can click the circle on the upper left-hand corner. That's like a circle with an arrow. It'll bring back whatever I just deleted. So either way, it's a couple little things right there. Now, those are some simple little tools I've used in my videos. Uh, just putting the backgrounds in, or getting the media where I want it, adding text, adding music, recording, adding some transitions. So those are some simple things I've used in my class, in my videos for the games and activities I've done. Now, there's some, so many other things I can add to this that I can show you in other videos. I just wanted to kind of go over some basics for you so you get off on the right foot and I think the best thing to do with this is get on this, play around with it a little bit, figure out and get comfortable using the wheel and using all the layering, the media, the uh, audio and the recordings. Um, and that's probably the best way, but hopefully this kind of helped a little bit to get you on the right track. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thank you so much.